This season, like, not one really fast ride in the championships, like, can push all going faster. And especially, I can I follow the first two rounds, which I couldn't race. PJ is very fast, but the problem is uh, on the race, when everybody is doing really crazy, you cannot do nothing and save, except for to be an Aragon. I crashed in the race, but, you know, uh, in the championships, it's, uh, it's very long, and for me, even to stop the championship. Go for the race. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Cheers. Bye bye. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Considering where I was on Tuesday afternoon and what was uh, what was actually happening to me on Tuesday, I won't go into detail. It uh, gets a little bit personal, but uh, overall, a good weekend so far. And you know, it was a shame. I saw the guys in front riding really well. Um, you know, they were both on the limit. I could see that. And during the middle of the race, I was able to um, to close them down. I had a good a good pace during the middle, but. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we changed a little bit of the setup, and I wasn't able to make a good run. There's like a fast right-hand kink on the way back to the pits, and I was I was pretty terrible there and pretty terrible on the final fast left. So I reckon if we can uh, improve the bike for there tomorrow, then uh, hopefully I can join the party and uh, and enjoy the race. And I mean, from where I was sitting, it was a great race to watch uh, Jonathan and Chad. everybody's plan and um, 
I mean, this weekend, every weekend is really close, but this weekend I think has been exceptional. And I mean, everybody's got a good race pace and that, so I have no doubt it's going to be a really good fight. And I mean, everybody's got good respect for each other, so it's good clean racing. I mean, some elbows come out, but at the end of the day, we keep it safe and go for the win. Okay, good stuff. Because uh, finish on the podium was uh, not in the plan till two laps to go. But uh, as you said, for me it's been always difficult track us and I've never been um, on the podium in Superbike. And this morning after free practice number three it was 12, so we'll really struggle a lot. And the team made uh, an awesome job and in Superpole the feeling was back. I had a good start, but after three laps uh, I understood my pace was not the best one to follow those guys. So I just tried to keep my fourth place and it was good like that for me. Some luck comes uh, during the last lap, finish on the podium, so tomorrow try to make uh, one more step and stay with them for longer. But it's not easy, but uh, I'm feeling good on the bike. Sure, our Kawasaki is um, really strong for 
for 21 laps. Okay, we're looking. Fantastic circuit. Um, you know, hopefully we can uh, we can get some good weather tomorrow for the races. Uh, I think Sunday for sure looks like it's going to be uh, kind to us. So yeah, next obviously pleased to have Lorenzo back. Uh, it was a uh, big shame that we lost him at uh, Aragon, and especially when we had so much success on the Monday after as well. Um, so great to have Lorenzo back working with, with Eugene. So you know, first of all, he, he, you know we had a, um, you know, a very very tough start for the first two flyaway rounds and. It's taken us a little bit of time to adjust working with the uh, Prolia team, and um, I think you know we always said it would take a few rounds into into the, into Europe before we started to see the the real form. So. Slecht staat ook geen goede, maar uh, helaas gebeurt dit soort dingen in de race. En uh, ik was al lang blij dat, uh, dat iedereen recht op, uh, overeind bleef in de eerste bocht. En ja, om dan de laatste dan weer terug te komen, ik, ik was gewoon te gehaast. En uh, ja, ik maakte zelf de fout net voor Strubbe, uh, hij staat er eraf. Maar uh, gelukkig uh, met mij alles oké. Okay. En uh, ik heb zeker het gevoel dat morgen als het warm is, dat we, dat we toch sterker kunnen zijn. Uh, vanmorgen zag het er al redelijk goed uit. En, uh, ja, ik ga er zeker alles aan doen om, uh, om jullie morgen ook allemaal blij te maken.
He seems to have come out in his usual fighting uh, fighting mode uh, today. Inside the top uh, ten, he said, even before the weekend started, I'm confident, I've got a good record here, I'm feeling good on the bike now, I'm starting to understand the Yamaha. Alex has shown that the bike can, uh, can be quick, so similar to these guys on the stage with you, you must be confident that you can have a really solid weekend. Um, hello to everybody. Uh, yeah, I mean, for sure Michael's record is here and it always helps racing at home. Um, it's where you grew up racing and where you have a real feeling for every square metre of the racetrack. Um, but probably today was Michael's worst Friday of the year so far, um, especially FP2. Uh, struggled to find the right balance in the bike and uh, we couldn't match the, either the consistency or the speed from FP1. But no mistakes, no problems, lots of laps, so lots of good data to improve the bike. And I think we saw last year with the Honda that Michael was outside of the top 10 on day one, but raced very, very strongly. And uh, I think uh, especially at home with the orange on the bike and the motivation will Which be... Which looks fantastic, I've got to say. If you've seen the new bike with the uh, the orange on the side, I know the fans here were absolutely in awe of that this morning. It was, uh, was great. <laughs>
proposta, la prima volta che riesco ad andare così avanti nel mondiale e spero domani di riuscire a mantenere il podio. Well, that's as well. I'm going to see if I can get a pen for Ilya uh, as well. Have we got any uh, other pens back here, guys? Do we have any other pens at all? Uh, oh, this will do. We'll just use this one. There we go. It's not a marker, but it'll do, eh? It's not a marker, but it's the best thing I've got. It's the only other pens that uh, I've got down here. Uh, there we go. Oh, cheers, fellas. Some pens. Ah, one right here for the pens. Okay, well done here then. But uh, yeah, this weekend the, everything was working fine, um, and yeah, we managed to, to start with a good base setting of the bike, and yeah, managed to put in some good lap times. Even on race tyres, the, the bike was working good. So uh, we still need to improve a little bit for tomorrow to try and find that next little step. But we've had some good time now to go over the data and try and try and see if we can find uh, another few temps. Is the plan. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. If, it, if it's getting sunny, it's going to make a bit of a difference for tyre. Tyre decision normally around, I think, 20 degrees on track temperatures, making uh, whether we can use the soft tyre or the harder tyre. So we'll uh, we'll see if it's getting if it's getting uh, hotter tomorrow. The lap time should be a little bit faster as well. So we'll see see what happens. because uh, I got some problem in my right arm in this uh, weekend. It's the same uh, arm that I got the surgery after the high deep crash in Japan in 2015. So we don't know exactly what happened, but we worked a lot with cleaning a model and in the end, I'm happy I was able to finish the race. And of course tomorrow, uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, uh, we will have uh, another injection in my arm. And uh, obviously I will look to, I will try. To, to improve my my position and I really would love to, to finish in the top 10. You had a good fight with Sheridan, and uh, as you know, I've said a lot of times, you're probably one of the stockiest riders on the grid. You're, you're not shy. If there's an elbow to be given, you'll give it. But uh, Sheridan also, he, he's not shy. He likes to give an elbow back. Caden's in the mix. What do you predict for the fans tomorrow? Are we going to see four riders into the final corner? Are we all going to make it through? That's what I want to know. Yes, I don't know, but uh, yes, you have a lot of riders with, uh, with the same second. And uh, yes, normally for the race you have a lot of a uh, lot of fight. But uh, I like the fight. Uh, I like the, the race, and uh, I have a very good race for me. Uh, the same with Aragon is perfect for me. Absolutely, well, I would think 25 points in Aragon is perfect. What about it? The winner last time out, Luca Mayas. Okay, well, I expected it to be a lot higher. He's back in sort of ninth or tenth. So, uh, uh, how, how's the day gone for you so far, Serafino? Okay, the first time. Uh, okay, uh, welcome to everybody. It's a really nice atmosphere uh, to be here, no? Because uh, usually I'm not seeing. Yeah, okay, but this is one of your early models. Isn't no, it? no, it's okay. Yeah. No, I, I have, oh, okay. So, it's, uh, for me, the Assel circuit is uh, the University of the Motorcycle, no? Anyway, today uh, Chats uh, okay, did a good job, no? not so bad. Marco has a, a small problem, we need to work to find hard, but I'm, I hope tomorrow the week is okay. For sure, Marco will be better tomorrow. Anyway, we try to do the best, as uh, usual, and uh, we see, uh, enjoy the race tomorrow and, uh, and Sunday. Your thoughts uh, about tomorrow? It's going to be a tough race, 18 laps. <laughs> How was it for you today? Yeah, we, we had a quite a difficult day yesterday, but but we made a big step for Super Bowl one and big thanks to the team. It was it was a big change and it paid off today. It was a good quad quality thing and we have a quite a good race pace also. So I'm looking forward to the race. Absolutely okay. Then our fastest qualifier in European Super Sport, Hannah Suma. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
Begin uh, again uh, from uh, this race, and uh, I hope to carry start uh, good job. Uh, can I get part of the silver at our first race? We will wreck you uh, in the box when you're riding for a billiard. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Just pull. Can you pull? Oh, sorry. Uh, I was practicing. Yeah, not so bad. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Go. 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 Ja, dat is een grote 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 Ja, dat is een Ja, dat is een grote 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 Ja, dat is een Ja, dat is een grote 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 Ja, that is a 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 grote
Yeah, well, um, you know, I think I've given myself the best chance, but I think, um, I don't know what's going on, my guys. I've got another penalty for tomorrow. I've been pushed back uh, three places on the grid. Oh, um, I didn't yeah. even know that. So, uh, what, yeah. what's that for? Are you being a bad boy again? Yeah, well, it looks that way. I think, um, I don't know, there's somebody in the organisation who wears, um, you know, don't like me too much, I think. I don't know. It's, it's a funny Say one. it as it is. We're all friends here. No one's listening. Yeah, no, it's, it's a funny one. I don't know what's going on, but. Um, on the positive, on the positive note, story to quickly win. Jonathan Ray got a three grid penalty in the race today, and he won. Yeah. So uh, okay. there's a positive. There's a positive. No, there's, no, there's always a positive. You know, an excuse. So we'll just see if we can get a good start tomorrow and um, and be up there with fighting bunch and uh, and put on a good show. Tried many things, so it's uh, important for tomorrow. But I wasn't really, really happy, uh, you know, during the whole session. And uh, but you know, we we work, we tried many things, which was really interesting. And uh, I hope we can find some more time for tomorrow. But um, the best thing for me today was that I uh, qualified for Super Bowl two directly. And uh, I think tomorrow is a, is a new day, and uh, we have some really good ideas. And, I think tomorrow we'll be feeling better on the bike as well. So, uh, you know, also tomorrow is the race, and uh, I hope we, we can stay with the front guys. And, you know, our goal, of course, is to be in the top five. But, you know, I, I hope to be, to be on the podium in my own way. And, uh, lost a little bit, but uh, as you said, 20 points, it's another Kawasaki 1-2, and you've got a nice certificate as well, so uh, all good. Exactly, but um, reading the certificate, it still says Jonathan Ray. So, uh, yeah, to be honest, Michael, from what I hear, it's not the first time you've been a bit uh, premature on, on ah! the things. But, uh, <laughs> but hey, oh, that's not my story.